It is not okay to let our children go hungry. It is not okay to let our children fall between the cracks. It is not okay to have, to, uh, have our great state of California be willing to balance its budget by putting a whole generation of children at risk. So we're not only the dream keepers for children, we also have another responsibility, to be the truth tellers. We must be willing to stand up and shout. We must be willing to speak up when it might not be popular to do so and ensure that everyone, especially our legislators, understand that relationship between cutting services for children and education actually carries a greater cost to our society. I need you to remind them about simple math. Over time, as we cut programs or attempt to save money in education, we actually drive up expenses 1,000% to 2,000% in other areas of the budget. Unemployment rates soar, homelessness soars, increases in social service costs rises, there's higher demand for our police services in local communities, along with escalating populations and associated costs. It actually increases the budget rather than reducing it. If that were not enough, which I think it is, it also creates a burden on emergency medical services because families who are without health care will postpone their treatment and the only as a last resort will they access care in our emergency centers at an astronomical cost of about $11,000 a visit. This doesn't make mathematical sense. The cycle continues in the classroom as children with illnesses will miss more and more school, fall further and further behind, and require a multitude of more supplemental educational services until finally many of them will just give up and leave school. We can do better than that. <laughs> so after reminding them about the math, bring them back to the fact that this is not only a numbers game. We are dealing with the lives. We are dealing with the hopes and the dreams of our children. We are speaking about the future of California. There was a time, there was a time that California truly was the golden state. We understood that children were our number one precious resource. In our golden state, there was a time when California recognized that a viable economic community doesn't just happen. You actually plan for it, strategize, invest resources to build one. It is up to us to remind everyone that we must start with a vision and work together to make it happen. If we all pitch in and help, we can build the Golden State dream again. First, we need to look at our past, our own discomfort, and reach out and help others succeed. Because when we help others, it comes back to us tenfold. There's a huge multiplying factor here that is capable of turning
this state completely around. When the whole population joins together, we in turn, our internal capacity will increase and the state economy will then thrive the essential ingredient to making this happen, ensuring success, is to ask ourselves if we all have the will to make it happen. Do you have the will? I trust you do. It is easy to get lost in the negativism. It is easy to say, I'm just one person. What can I do? But you ne can never, never doubt for a minute that your individual power makes that difference. There is really only one thing that ever stops anyone. I told you earlier. It is our own negative thoughts. When we tell ourselves over and over, we can't do that when we don't believe that we can make a difference, we stop ourselves from moving forward. But the magic is, the same is true for the positive. When we believe we can do it, we move forward. We hold our own power to make a difference. Our own PTA founders knew the power of believing and that you could make a difference. They quickly learned that additional strength and power had occurred when you increased your numbers. PTA is a power working together. PTA makes a difference by keeping their eye on what is important. We are the hopes for an entire generation of children. From my heart to all of you, I thank you for staying strong this year. I thank you for your dedication. I thank you for staying focused on children. PTA members are the children's dream keepers, we are also the truth tellers, and together we have the collective power to make a difference and change the future. The heart of PTA is its membership, and together we have the faith, the vision, the tenacity to create a new day for California, a day when we can ensure we live in a state that values our most precious resource, our children. Thank you. <laughs>